Okay, so now I'm on the Cubelet's blocky program. And I want to co connect my Cubelet. That's my code in case you have more than one. They have different codes so that you can keep them separate. And then we're going to tap connect. And then this is our, I don't know, I guess I call it a coding board. I'm sure that's not the technical term. But it has um, these blocks that you can put together to code. And so I have my cubes here. And I'm going to add a drive cube and a sensor cube. Let's do that. And let's set these here for the time being and we'll go back to our board. And I'm going to program the drive. So my tap here turns green, it's a little hard to see. Yep. And then grab some things from their tutorial just to give it a quick try here so that I can show you. And then they basically tell you to put these things for a one-line robot and then they ask you to figure out by looking at the code what you think it might do. And I like that because it really gets kids thinking. And so now I've done that and now I am going to program the selected cubelet. I'm not sure if I tap that. There we go. And again, this does not take long. Okay, now. <laughs> Off it goes. And if we look. that it's just going to go on its own here. And now it is slowing way down because it is sensing that it has something in front of it. Like here's my hand. And stop. Go. Stop. Now we're going to try this one. Let's see what it does. When you first are starting and you're doing some of these programs, you might want to just tip it on its side if you're doing the drive one so that it doesn't take off on you. <laughs> so here, let's get this going. This one should stop, yep. And then it's going to ramp up. And stop. <laughs> 